Hi, and welcome to a new episode of The Data Pinch, a series of bite-sized videos on all things data so that you can start your week with a pinch of data. My name is Dat, and I work in business development and data consulting here at Y42. And today I want to shift the focus towards sales service analytics. And now you may ask, what is this? Why is it beneficial? And how do I get there properly? Self-service analytics, also known as self-service BI, refers to the ability to allow multiple users in a company to access and analyze data independently. This means that users are given agency to work with data, accessing it more easily and gaining insights more quickly as bottlenecks and dependencies are removed. This also ends up enabling collaboration across users and pushes for an improved data-driven culture by giving both technical and non-technical users the opportunity to work with the data on their own. Even though self-service analytics can offer all these benefits, there are some risks, such as the possibility of users unintentionally changing your entire data infrastructure. And that's why it's key for self-service BI tools to have features like user rights management or version control to avoid this chaos and confusion. Another key aspect is end-user support, as users new to BI might struggle and get frustrated, so it's crucial to have a point of contact that can help you out in any case. Lastly, look out for self-service BI tools that offer interactive browser-based dashboards. For instance, a drag-and-drop interface that would allow non-technical users to perform more daunting tasks, such as data modeling, with the flexibility and ease of not having to code. An example of this could be a tool like Y42. In a nutshell, self-service analytics pave the way to work with data independently across an organization. And this can be achieved if a BI tool with proper features has been implemented. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.